J10 and address a few other small issues. A little bit of wiring that I got to clean up and uh, really need to look at a fuel line and changing the fuel pump on this thing because I don't like the one that's on it. That might not make the video but the choke cable definitely will. Here we go let's get into it. <clears throat> okay so I think I'm going to install this thing right here where this factory plug is at the dash. So I'm going to pop this thing out, real simple like, and then hopefully it's in there about the right size for what we need to install this choke cable. <clears throat> okay, that's not going to pan out like we thought because that's incredibly too big of a hole. So I'm going to put that plug back in there. Pop it back into place. So I guess... We'll just put it right here beside the horn button that I've got rigged up. Ended up going and deciding to go right here beside the cigarette lighter. Okay, we need to go one more step. feed this choke cable through there for a test fit. No, did we fuck up? Nope. Grabbed at the perfect hole. Alright, now I'm going to thread my nut up through here and I'll tighten the nut up on the back side there. Okay, now we're going to use the camera here. I'll show you what it did as far as tightening up the nut on the back side. All that. Luckily, my glove compartment is out right now. So there's where we are. We're not going to be touching any kind of hot wires that are back there. We're going to get back there with a wrench and tighten it the rest of the way up. But we're going to go ahead and snake this choke cable up through the firewall. And if you look right over there, there's an unused port. In the firewall, right behind that blue wire that you see. So we're going to try to run it out there, so we don't have to drill any other holes in the firewall. Hopefully, we have enough choke cable to get to the carburetor. If not, we'll have to go back and get the longer one of these. So, all right, I'm going to fish this through that hole. Okay, so initially I was thinking about coming through that hole right there where that grommet is. But, why do that when there's another rubber grommet right there behind the carburetor itself that will come out and will keep us from having to sneak that thing back across the firewall. It might be a little bit neater if we come out right there with it. So I'm going to pop that rubber grommet out and uh, put that wire through. All right, I guess I didn't hit record on the camera. We decided to go with the rubber grommet hole that was here instead of the one over here. So I popped the rubber grommet out. I pulled this cable through. Looks like we're going to have to trim it some to make it work right. And then what we'll do is we'll put a hole in the center of this rubber grommet, slide it over that, and pop it back in. But first, let's go inside here and make sure that that thing's not in a knot. So, yeah, see that's what I was worried about. See how it's got that big hoop to do in it down there? Got it hung on the gas pedal. All right. There we go, nice and neat through all the wiring where it's not rubbing. 
might put a little bit of uh, electric wire or electric tape around it right there just in case push our knob all the way in while we're doing this and let's go see what we've got to how how much we've got to trim off this thing I really need to invest on a tripod if I'm gonna keep playing around doing this we're gonna slide this down and then pop it back into the position it was in There we go, so our grommets back in. <clears throat> Next thing we're going to do is get us a flathead screwdriver. We're going to loosen this clamp here. Alright. Lay our choke cable. cable through there like so and then I'm going to tighten that up but it'll be easier to tighten up without the cable without the uh, camera in my hand and then we're going to, have to cut this wire off and get it seated in here <clears throat> okay so here's our choke lever Moves our choke back and forth. So all the way away from the firewall is its longest position. So I'm gonna cut this cable with some excess right here. And then we're gonna have to strip this coating back to expose the wire. So I'm gonna cut us down so we have some extra. Okay, I separated the sheathing. Now I'm gonna cut the wire. Kind of sucks that this is a piece of waste, but we can use it as like a tie wire for something else later on. That's why I bought the shortest one we needed, we could get. All right, now what I'm gonna do is, is I need to come in here and I need to split just this sheathing away just past where this post is so I'm gonna try to delicately do that without Dutch damaging the actual choke wire itself okay I was able to kind of bend that there a little bit and get the coil to spread out and snip it so I can pull that out separately so that's junk and then we need our flathead scrutinator do is with the choke in the all the way off position I'm going to loosen this screw up significantly and then we're going to poke through our choke wire Straighten it out. And then we're going to snug this screw up. Just a hair. Grab a hold of this. We're going to pull all the slack out of it. Best we can. Straighten this mess up best we can. Tighten that screw down. And just
just for a little bit of hillbilly security. I'll make one wrap around this on this barrel. I'm gonna face them down like that. I'm gonna cut this off. But we're gonna wait until we actually go in and pull the choke lever and make sure everything works. So I'm gonna set the camera up over here and I'll go inside and pull the choke. calling that fairly successful. So I'm going to go ahead and trip, clip the excess off right here. Well, there's nothing in there for me to get dangling around and cut my hand off. And then we'll put our air cleaner and stuff back on. And we should be pretty good. Check, make sure our screws are all tight. One vacuum line here that we really need to rerun a different way so that it does not interfere with the choke itself. That should be okay right there. Alright. Well, I call that a pretty successful little project. So, this is a cheap eBay knockoff of a Holly 500 CFM two barrel that I bought and put on this truck. Um, the Motorcraft 2100 was definitely choking this motor a little bit. Uh, I don't think it got along with the cam that was in here very well. Um, that being said, if you really want to talk about performance, the intake manifold on this is terrible. But, I will say this. That carburetor, this truck has a lot more power in now. Um, Especially in the higher RPMs, which is where this low geared truck with a three speed likes to be. So, I'm happy with it, but I'm still working a few small issues. Also, this Jeep runs an electric fuel pump, because obviously this is a four liter block. And I robbed the fuel pump off this truck to put on something else uh this winter and i put one of these cheap metal pumps on it and now i'm having on really hot days i'm having a really bad uh vapor lock problem so i've got me a fuel pump like was on it before ordered to put on it but i need to readdress some of these hoses in here and stuff the old power choke wire for the other carburetor i pulled the fuse out on the distribution block over there for it I'm going to tuck it back in the wire loom just in case. You never know when you might want to add another circuit out here. No sense in cutting wire out to potentially put it back later. Um, it's deadheaded at the fuse panel anyway. So anyway, uh, that's, that's kind of how you set up one of these uh, manual choke cables. So thank you all for watching. You all have a good one. See how it works for startup here. Say it'll work just fine.